Hi everyone, Justin Salvato with Video Masters. Today we're going to be looking at the use of light. I went to the store and I finally dropped more money than I wanted to. And I got two different types of lights, two of each. I got two discs that are LEDs. Those are gonna be used to light the backdrop. Right now I'm, they're gonna be just facing the wall. In a minute we'll bring down a green screen. And I got two other LED mono lights. They're in a can about this big. And on them is a large umbrella about three feet in diameter and it's going to shoot through those and it creates a very diffuse light, very soft, so it makes you look better and it's just a nicer, cleaner contour. Also keeps the shadows down off the backdrop. So the first thing we're going to do is bring up just a single light to my left. So we're going. this light is able to go from zero to 100%. So you can dial it in. Uh, by the percentage. You can also adjust the color of the light. Now, if you won't see the color of the light very well when you're using a camera because your camera will just adjust to try to do an auto white balance. But what it, the color is important is when you're in an environment where there is light already, if you can match the light, you'll be able to get your color balance to work. If your light from your instruments is different than the light, ambient light of the room, you're going to find that you're going to struggle to get a good clean white. So this percentage is currently at 20% and you can see all of a sudden my face is starting to come uh, into view better. And because we're having one light on one side, we're getting uh, light on here and some shadow on this side, which helps to create a little bit more contour. Obviously that can create a little bit of mood. So now we'll bump that light up to maybe 60%. And here again, if the camera is going to adjust for this, so you may not see a huge difference. I'm not looking through the camera, so I don't know right now. Um, but the camera is going to adjust. But what you are going to see is a distinction between the subject, that is me in this case, and the backdrop. So as the light comes up on me, we're going to see more light and the backdrop still dark. Now I'm going to, to stop, I'm gonna fall out of the frame for a minute, and I'm gonna turn on some backdrop lights. I have two, one on each side facing the back wall, so let me do that. That's 30% from one side, and that is creating a little bit different balance now. Um, what's nice is the light's coming from this side. This is the lighter side of the subject. Because I have the light opposite on the backdrop, that light is contrasting against the backdrop, which is this is the darker side. And the darker side of the subject, lighter side of the backdrop. So that can be an important consideration. I'm gonna drop out of the frame again. I'm gonna turn on the other light because what I'm trying to do now is create a balanced light on the backdrop. So here's a more balanced light in the background, and you can see how that affects the subject separation, and you can play with that and find what's gonna work best for the shot you're doing. So now we're gonna turn on the second light, and this light's gonna create a more even light. It's going to uh, get rid of any wrinkles because all that light will blend in. We won't see the, the harsh shadows on the sh faces and it'll just make for a softer, more flattering light, less moody, and it just depends what you're looking for. So now we have two lights and we have the backdrop lit. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light the backdrop up all the way. And then we're gonna try to make this back wall look like I'm just floating in white space. So I'll be right back. So now I have the backdrop lights both at 100%, and I'm hoping that that's going to give a really white background uh, against my face, and I'm getting some feedback from Len. She's not loving it. So, Len, what do you suggest? Well, your face is, 
your background is very bright. Too bright. Too bright. Okay, so let me turn the backdrop down. And so that's in the 50%. And hopefully that looks more flattering. I'm going to let Len guide me here. So it's a more balanced look. I assume my face is evenly lit here, but we're getting enough contour that you can tell that it's a head shape and not just a flat <laughs> plane. And would this be a flattering look, Len? Would you give me a thumbs up on this? So she says this is more flattering. So now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to pull the green screen down. So let's go ahead, before I do that, let's take the two subject lights and we're going to lift those all the way up. So here we are at 80%, 50% on the backdrop. Now that Len is giving me the head shake. She thinks that's better. Um, hopefully that's helping me stand out from the background a little bit more without making me look washed out. And so you're just going to have to balance these things, take some short videos, do some samples. And here's the hint. Once you get this dialed in, write these numbers down, mark the floor, measure them out, do whatever you can so you don't have to reinvent this set up over and over and over again because that's really tedious. So now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to pull the green screen down. This is a, a nice screen that is actually on a roller like an old-fashioned uh, slideshow screen. So it's easy to deploy. And here it's not so much how bright the green is behind me, it's how even it is. So Len's going to give me some feedback. Does that Backdrop seem even to you? It seems pretty even to me. It's interesting because now the camera is picking up your face is much brighter. Okay, so the auto, the sensor in the, in the camera is trying to compensate to balance the light. And so apparently I'm looking lighter. So maybe we'll take these lights down to 50%. So here's 60%. Len's telling me that looks better. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the backdrop lights and I'm going to take them way down. Again, it's not so much that it's bright, it's that it's even. And and. Sometimes you're going to have to move those lights to balance that out. Lynn, is that even still, or was it better before? Your background is more even, but now your face, in my opinion, looks a little more white. Okay, so now I'm washed out. So because the camera is compensating for a darker background, the camera is trying to, it's looking at the whole frame, trying to get a nice, even middle tone. Since this is darker, it's reading me as lighter, so we better turn these lights up or down, right? Down. Down. Go for it. Okay, that puts us at 40%, and now I'm, am I reading more natural? Yeah. Up or down? Is the background too dark? Or am I too, I'm too light? Um, no, I think you're pretty natural, actually. Okay, Lynn's thinking about it, but she thinks she likes it now. If I, if you were to say I'm too washed out or too dark, which would it be? I would go more washed out, but I'm actually seeing on the sides of the green screen that those are more hot spots. Okay, so, and maybe this just isn't a good combination. So I'm going to move these back up to 50. Understood. All 
I'm going to move the light a little bit, try to make it a little more even. How does that look? So now it's really changed the color, like the tone. Uh, you're more tan and more red, and your shirt is much darker all of a sudden. Okay, so let's turn these up one more time. So here's 60% on the subject lights. Better. And so we could dial this in until we get the settings that are just right. And then we write them down so we don't have to relive this over and over again. And we'd have a setup for a standing position. We'd have a setup for a sitting position and just mark the camera location, measure it out. We have tape on the floor. I'd, I'd write down these intensities, write down the camera settings so that we could reproduce this once we finally get it just the way we want. So I appreciate your time. I'm really glad that I made this purchase. I can see the value in it in making a higher quality video. If, you know, if I, it's gonna be a talking head to the camera, if I'm doing a training or a sales pitch or something, this is gonna be much easier to control. And I'm really valuing having the ability to dial in with great accuracy, the intensity of these lights, because finding that correct balance, getting the lights positioned just right, um, noticing how I can get a stark shadow on one side versus with one light and two, it, it gives me all the control that I need to create the mood and the atmosphere to share my message in the best way possible. So I hope you learned something from this. If you need to borrow any of this stuff, I'm totally open to getting that to you because I know that these things are expensive and I'm going to be able to use it for marketing and I can justify the cost. But if you want to play around with it, let me know. Have a great night. Sorry I couldn't be at the meeting. See you in a couple of weeks. Take care.